So, I mean, one of the things that young people don't know is just because you start doing one thing surely doesn't mean that you're still doing it 20 years later. Try something. Be your best. See what you think. Freeman, you are so blessed to be around brilliant young people all day long. Um, I have so many young people come up to me and ask how I found my purpose mm -hmm. or how do you find your purpose? Um, you're so clear in yours. I've been so clear in mine. How do you answer that question when a young person sees how clear you are and at 18, 19, 20, 22 years old is struggling so hard to find that? What do you yeah. tell somebody who asks you, how do they find their purpose? Yeah, it's such a great question because it goes along with the question, how do you keep hope? How do you keep hope, right? Uh, and I'm always saying to people who are older, I mean, when they get to 40, 50, 60, whatever, uh, try to remember the lack of security you had, the insecurity you felt when you were young and trying to figure it out. Once you figure some things out, there's a level of comfort you get. But I always want us to remember that young people are struggling with these issues. And quite frankly, even when you're 70, you're struggling with next, how do I deal with things? It's a part of the human experience. You know, for, for kids, what I say is this, and not just kids, young people in their 30s, I'm always saying, get to know the stories of other people. Just as we read novels to learn about characters, getting to know the stories of other people and their pathways, reading biographies, for example, uh, but asking people, tell me your story. How did you get here? Why did you decide to do what you do? Why did you keep doing what you're doing? The more we learn about the pathways of others, the more we have light shining on us because we compare ourselves to other people and it gives us a sense of those possibilities. And, and, and the other thing I would say is try different things. I mean, one of the things that young people don't know is just because you start doing one thing, surely doesn't mean that you're still doing it 20 years later. Try something, be your best, see what you think, and then you will decide if, if and how to move to something else. It's not that you've got to find the perfect job or the perfect opportunity. You just want experience in life. I tell people, we have a lot of students who work at NSA throughout the year, at the National Institutes of Health, at Hopkins, other places, but we have other people who are working as waiters. And I'm saying, learn is, you'd be surprised what you learn about human behavior working as a waiter. And you can get more money than you think you can just through your interaction with people. And when they see that you're different and you're being supportive of them, right? So you can, there's no job where you can't learn some things that will give you experience to go to the next level. And, and so, keeping an open mind and not being so rigid as to say, this is what I want to do with great specificity, maybe one day, but that opportunity may not be here right now. Just get experience, get experience. And we are constantly getting our students to start with those experiences beginning after the freshman year. And many have had experiences before they come to UMBC, which can help shape their thinking about the possibilities. Mm -hmm. I love that, um, that uh, getting to know other people's stories. We talk about um, making sure that you're walking in other people's shoes, that yeah. you are getting out of your comfort zone and out of your yeah. bubble. You can't find your purpose if you are unable and unwilling to like yeah. leave your small circle. You just yeah. won't. Um, we talk about that a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah.